Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and saying the wada or thank you to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai for sending us the Rakakwa Dash, the Holy Spirit. Double honors are definitely due unto the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone and the elders and bishops who do rule well. Salutations, peace, and blessings to the Most High Powers elect, the Bayaftuadada House of David. I'm Shamar with the Men of Valor, South Carolina Camp. And uh, it's just one plague after another, after another, after another, all right, for Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, all right, because we are in the days of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's visitation, man, the days of his judgment pursuant to 2nd Ezra's 9th chapter. Now, here it is off of um, cbsnews.com, okay, um, from yesterday, June the 24th, 2021, the year of hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, Western drought brings plague of voracious grasshoppers. Quote, they're everywhere, end quote. That's right, man. And, and who's bringing these plagues, which ain't slacking right now, is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay? He's tearing this place up, man. You know, once again, going back to 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter, this is... The time of his visitation, man. He said he was going to visit the world which he made. All right? And that's what's taking place. All right? So I'm just going to read this a little bit. Um, oh, it's like you read a little bit of the article. Okay? And go into uh, a few precepts. All right? This is prophecy, man. You know, this happened in, uh, in the ancient world. All right? It happened to those ancient Egyptians, the, 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 those Hamites. Okay? Pharaoh and the Egyptians. All right? When the Lord sent plagues on them. Okay, plague, and he said he's gonna plague Egypt as before. Okay, in Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. Okay, so this this is the spiritual Egypt, man. You know, America, pursuant to Revelation eleven and eight, is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. This is spiritually called Egypt, this place, man. And again, the Lord's not slacking, man. He's these these plagues ain't tearing, man. They they coming upon Babylon, man. All right, it says a punishing drought in the u.s west is drying up waterways sparking wildfires and leaving farmers scrambling for water next up a plague of voracious grasshoppers <laughs> so he's using these grasshoppers okay to mow down these crops man okay it says federal agriculture officials are launching what could become their largest grasshopper killing campaign since the 1980s amid an outbreak of the drought loving insects that cattle ranchers fear will strip bare public and private rangelands. That's right, man. Hey, this is all part of the Lord's judgment, man, because you got to think, you know, the land, this land you people call America, okay, this is stolen land. Okay, so these, these cattle ranchers, okay, are, 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 are occupying stolen land, okay? So now it's time for the Lord to pay that back, man, okay? Now it's time for the Lord to pay that back. Matter of fact, um, let's get a quick scripture. Sirach 10 and 8. Yeah, see, because these Edomites, all right, uh, these so-called white people, they don't understand judgment, man. They don't understand, you know, that you reap what you sow, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Because this land was stolen, all right, and these ranchers are, are, are working on and living on stolen land, all right, now it's time for the kingdom to be translated, man, from uh, uh, Esau, okay, to Jacob, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, okay? Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 8, and it reads, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's right, man. Esau dealt unrighteously over here, all right, with, with Gad and Reuben and Issachar and did much injury to the Lord's people, to the apple of the Lord's eye, okay, by, by, by uh, 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 running Gad on the, uh, off his land, running Gad and Reuben on the, on, the, on the reservations, stealing his land, moving, running Issachar off the land, okay? Not, not to mention, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, 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 brutally murdering you know, uh, millions of uh, uh, so-called Native Americans, and then uh, uh, enslaving uh, the Southern Kingdom over here, man. You know, Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Haitians, and West Indians. 
all right? The, a lot of injury has been done, man, all right? And, the, and these riches, okay, were gotten by deceit, man, all right? So again, now it's time for the Lord to, uh, to pay it back, man. All right, where did my article go? Uh, let's see. Might have to go back. I lost my article, Slakia. Okay, Slakia. Got the article back. It says, um, it says, continue on. It says, in central Montana's Phillips County, more than 50 miles from the nearest town, Frank Wiederick said large numbers of grasshoppers started showing up on prairies surrounding his ranch in recent days. Already they're beginning to denude trees around his house. Yeah, man, so these grass, gra grasshoppers, it's like you, that the Lord has sent, all right, uh, they're wreaking havoc, man. It's, it says, quote, they're everywhere, and quote, <laughs> Wiederick said, quote, drought and grasshoppers go together and they are cleaning us out, end quote. That's right, man, they mowing down these, what's left of these crops, man. Okay, these cattle aren't going to have anything to eat or drink, you know, so and, 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 and that's all going to be felt when you go to buy groceries, man. All right. In the coming weeks and months, it says grasshoppers thrive in warm, dry weather and populations already were up last year, setting the stage for an even bigger outbreak in 2021. Such outbreaks can become more common as climate change shifts, rainfall patterns, scientists said. To blunt the grasshoppers' economic damage, the U.S. Department of Agriculture this week began aerial spraying of the pesticide Diflubenzuron, pardon the uh, pronunciation, it says to kill grasshopper nymphs before they develop into adults. Approximately 3,000 square miles of Montana are expected to be sprayed, roughly twice the size of Rhode Island. Okay, again, these these uh, uh a. <laughs> These these uh, plagues aren't aren't slacking, man. Let's go to Second Ezra sixteen. Uh, Second Ezra And it reads, <clears throat> Second Ezra 16 and verse 1, and it reads, Woe be unto thee Babylon and Asia, woe be unto thee Egypt and Syria. So woe's coming on America, man, Babylon the Great. Okay? Woe means destruction and misery, calamity. All right, it says, Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. As sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you. And who may quench it? You know, they got, you know, because of that drought, you know, out west, you know, uh, wildfires are sparking off. Okay, the land is being burned. All right, and again, the, you know, uh, 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 all this is compliments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. The Lord is sending these plagues, man. Okay? It says, A fire sent among you, and who may quench it? Now, ultimately, that fire is getting ready to be sent are the uh, ICBMs, okay? Because Babylon the Great, aka America, is going to be destroyed via nuclear fire, man. Okay, but before all kinds of plagues are gonna uh, befall you, Babylonians, man. It says a fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Verse five: Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? You know, the U.S. Department of Agriculture ain't gonna be able to stop this uh, grasshopper infestation. Okay, the Lord's doing this, man. They can spray all they want to, but the Lord is the one bringing these plagues, man. No man can drive them away. Okay, verse six says: May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood or may anyone quench the fire and stubble when it hath begun to burn may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer verse 8 and this is the point the mighty lord sendeth the plagues and who is he that can drive them away that's right man you, you can't drive these plagues away all right it's 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 an exercise in futility all right to even try okay to, uh, uh, to stop these things from happening. Man, you ain't going to stop it. You cannot offset prophecy. The Lord said he was going to plague Egypt as before. And that's what he's going to do, man. He said it and he's going to do it. Let's just get it in 2 Ezra 15.
Second Ezra chapter 15, I'll get right to the point. It says, in verse 11, or oh, slack, I'll start in 10. All right, second Ezra 15 and 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. All right, you Israelites are being led as a flock to the slaughter, man. It says, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. So this spiritual Egypt, all right, aka America is going to be destroyed. Man. The whole land is going to be destroyed, man. The whole land is going to be turned into a great big lake of fire. Okay, when the chariots, uh, when the chariots pull up and when the uh, missiles hit, man, it says Egypt shall mourn, verse twelve, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God, the Most High Yahweh, shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn for their seeds shall fail through the blasting and hail and with a fearful constellation, you know, crop failures. All right, uh, water reserves being dried up. You know, cattle uh, uh, perishing for lack of uh, resources, lack of food and water. Okay. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. All right. It's going to be race riots, food riots. Okay. All kinds of riots out here in Babylon as these plagues continue to smite America, man. You know, let's see, let's go back to this article. Agriculture officials had seen this year's infestation coming after a 2020 survey found dense concentrations of adult grasshoppers across about 55,000 square miles in the West. A 2021 grasshopper hazard map shows densities of at least 15 insects per square yard in large areas of Montana, Wyoming, and Oregon in portions of Idaho, Arizona, Colorado, and Nebraska. That's beautiful. Seven states, man. Seven represents the number of completion. But it's all spiritual, man. The Lord, hey, the Lord's getting ready to destroy Babylon, man. All right? And the Lord's elect men, okay, will be uh, 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 um, sound in mind, okay, as all these things uh, continue to go down, man, you know, the men of the Lord won't be moved, man, all right, Lord willing, that's us, I don't want to write this out, that's us, you know, I don't want to write this out, the Lord keeps his Rakakodash, his Holy Spirit on us to keep us stable, man, and we're the only ones that are going to be stable, you know, again, if we're part of that number, man, that part of that 144,000 number, okay, we're the only ones that are going to remain stable, man. And why? Isaiah 33 and 6 tells you, you know, Isaiah 33 and 6, you know, it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay? And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right? So this wisdom and knowledge is what's going to stabilize us through, through Jacob's trouble, man. All right? Closing out the article, it says, Left unaddressed, federal officials said the agricultural damage from grasshoppers could become so severe it could drive up beef and crop prices. It's going to, man. That's why I said, you know, you're going to start to feel the effects of all these plagues in your grocery stores in the coming weeks and months ahead, man. So, hey, you know, if you want to the Lord's people, okay, we've been blowing the trumpet. We've been telling you the evil day is coming. All right? Jacob's trouble. So, you know, now, you know, it's on you, man. You know? You got, you got to repent. You got to uh, turn back to the Lord, man. You got to seek him while he may be found, Isaiah 55 and 6, because the time's coming where you're not going to be able to get this edification and you're not going to be able to, to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because a famine of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has to come to pass. And I believe that's imminent, man. I believe that's imminent. I seen a, um, a video this morning from GMS Watchman talking about, you know, how uh, Canada, their government, is uh, uh, um, you know going to be fining people, you know, for 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 protesting the agenda, you know, fining and jailing people for uh, coming against uh, uh, the new world order agenda, man. Okay, so it's just a matter of time before those uh, uh, fines and, and prison sentences come to Babylon, man. We won't be out here speaking against 
uh, 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 the Transformers much longer. We won't be out here speaking against the Sodomites much longer. You know, speaking about the elites, the Dukes of Edom much longer, the Amalekite Jewish International Bankers. We're not going to be out here prophesying much longer, man. So you got to get it now, man. The time is now. King David said, now is the day. You know, now is the day of salvation. You know, do it now, man, because you ain't promised, you know, tomorrow. You ain't even promised, you know, another minute on this earth. All right. Hey, Lord willing, I don't want to write this out. You were edified through the spirit. Again, it's one plague after another, after another, after another. All right. And all the glory, honor, praise goes to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. All right. Shalom to the next one. Shalom.